We continue with knowledge management systems requirements, ISO 30401. We need to promote this standard. And uh, please give a like to this video in, as a, a mean for this kind of promotion. An important and comprehensive part of knowledge management system requirements, ISO 30401, is its introduction. Even before going through the 10 clauses of the common high level structure, I want to elaborate more about the introduction that consists of five clauses from clause 0.1 to clause 0.5. To get it short, let's start by the summary, clause 0.5. Simply, it concludes why the ISO 30401 is useful. This standard defines the basic requirements for organizations which are willing to implement a successful and effective knowledge management systems. Like all similar management systems standards, it is so generic so that it could be suitable for any organization regardless its type or size. It states this document, however, maintains flexibility within the context of the requirements that enables conformity for every type of organization and alignment with all characteristics and needs. And go through the first clause 0.1, the purpose. I like the to focus on value creation through knowledge. Keep in mind that ISO 30401 is the first standard about knowledge management system. So it could effectively help to propose some kind of unification about the definition of knowledge management, as there is no single accepted definition for it. Knowledge management is a discipline focused on ways that organizations create and use knowledge, where there are some barriers to successful knowledge management system, like information overload, poor planning, lack of time, these all are barriers. Uh, Lack of time could be when organization cannot understand the value that could and must be created through knowledge. And other common barriers for any new system like personal fear and uncertainties, and also inadequate motiv motivation. Anyway, there are many barriers and also there are some confusion with other disciplines, especially information management. So we have to understand that information management is focused on data and IT, information technology, where knowledge management is focused on people and processes. In other words, information management is more about explicit knowledge, while the knowledge management is more holistic. It, it uh, considers tacit and implicit knowledge beside the explicit knowledge. It considers experience management, which includes implicit and tacit knowledge. And it also considers idea management. And of course, in addition to the explicit knowledge, we will go in the next videos to 
have some clear definitions about explicit, implicit, and tacit knowledge. Anyway, there is some also misconceptions and organizations that could succeed in implementing an effective knowledge management system must, must release any misconceptions about how to do knowledge management. And let's say that ISO 30401 requirement would be able to effectively support in this area. One of the most common misconception is buying a software will be enough for knowledge management to add value, but it is not true. Each organization will craft a knowledge management approach with respect to its own business and operational environment, reflecting their specific needs and desired the outcomes. That means knowledge management system is customizable. As the, what is the intent of ISO 30401? We can say that to set sound knowledge management principles and requirements, it is. For what? To be as a guidance for organizations that aim to be competent in optimizing the value, again, the value of organizational knowledge. So again, we have to focus on value creation through knowledge. Another intent of this standard is to be used as a basis for auditing, certifying, evaluating, and recognizing such competent organizations by internal and external recognized auditing bodies. So it will be used as a guidance to promote the value of organizational knowledge and also as a basis and criteria for auditing and certifying. That's it for now, and we will continue in next videos. And again, please give a like to this video.